Hello, everyone. Today, we're reviewing the elegant, classic, unisex Z-Blaze GTR 3 Pro watch. It features a high-quality steel case and scratch-resistant Gorilla Glass. The watch is slim, measuring only 11.5 mm in thickness. It is suitable for both men and women, with options for silver and gold for women and classic black for men. The watch comes with a quality strap and a large HD AMOLED display with a brightness of 1000 nits. It has an always-on display feature and offers numerous watch faces for both men and women. It provides fast menu navigation and supports various workout modes, heart rate and blood oxygen measurement, Bluetooth calling, and the ability to use the watch as a mini speaker, all at a price lower than that of a Mi Band. Of course, there are some drawbacks that you should be aware of before purchasing, as they may not be suitable for everyone. Let's take a closer look. The watch comes in a light box. On the packaging, it advertises an Ultra HD AMOLED display, calling features, round-the-clock health management, and a wide range of sports modes. The back of the box provides brief information about the watch and its compatibility with Android and iOS phones. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Here's our watch. We'll set them aside for now and see what else is included. There's a smoke white silicone detachable strap, a magnetic charging device, and multilingual setup instructions. Now, let's examine the watch itself. The watch case, particularly the sides in the form of a ring, is made of steel with an interesting texture. The lower part is made of matte plastic, where the heart rate and blood oxygen sensors are located, along with the watch's charging contacts. On the left side, you'll find a speaker and a noise-canceling microphone. Another microphone is located on the right side, slightly below the single metal button. The watch lacks a bezel, making it vulnerable to impacts on flat surfaces. The front is covered with scratch-resistant Gorilla Glass, though it's a bit of a shame there's no bezel like the Z-Blaze Ares 3 Pro, which protrudes slightly to protect the glass from flat surfaces. With this watch, you'll need to handle it with care or purchase a screen protector or film for added protection. Keep in mind that not all protectors will fit perfectly due to the slightly curved glass. In terms of dimensions, the watch is 44mm wide and only 11.5mm in height. It's slim and lightweight, weighing just 28 grams without the strap. The strap is quick release, with a 22mm width. It's soft, doesn't collect dust, and has no unpleasant odor. It comes with a metal buckle and two loops for adjustment. The strap is comfortable and has an interesting texture. With many holes, it should fit most people comfortably. With this strap, in my opinion, the watch looks more feminine. I bought a silver watch for my wife, and there are also gold options for women and black for men. With a black strap, they resemble classic men's watches, suitable for wearing with a dress shirt or business suit. However, the steel ring reflects strongly in bright light and draws a lot of attention, which I personally don't like, so I would opt for the black version of the watch for myself. On the other hand, my wife appreciates the attention-grabbing design. I'll leave a link to spare straps, both for women and men, as well as the link to where I purchased the watch at the best price, in the description. If you're interested, come take a look, the price is even cheaper than the Mi Band. When you turn on the watch, you have the option to select the language, including Russian, Polish, and others. To connect the watch, you can either scan the QR code or find the FitCloud Pro app on the Play Store. Download, install, and pair the watch. The screen is bright, vibrant, and sharp, with no visible pixels. This is the primary advantage of this watch. It features a 1.43-inch HD AMOLED screen with a resolution of 466 pixels per inch. The claimed brightness is 1000 nits, making it easily visible even in direct sunlight. As the watch boasts an AMOLED screen, it comes with an always-on display feature. There are both analog and digital watch face modes, but the always-on display feature is somewhat limited. After the screen turns off, the always-on mode remains active for only 5 minutes and then deactivates. When you activate the screen, for instance, by raising your wrist, the always-on mode is active for another 5 minutes. 
This is likely done to conserve energy due to the watch's slim design, which accommodates a relatively small 260 mAh battery. With the always-on display and continuous heart rate monitoring activated, the watch only lasted two and a half days on a single charge. Without the always-on display mode, the watch lasted for six days with all functions active, including listening to music through the watch. Charging is relatively fast, it takes 1 hour and 20 minutes to charge the watch from 0 to 100. The magnetic charger is somewhat fragile, the magnets hold reasonably well but can detach if the cord is lightly tugged. You can activate the screen by pressing the button, and there's also a feature for screen activation when you raise your wrist, although there may be a slight delay in its response. There's a separate setting to control how many seconds the screen stays active when you press the button or raise your wrist, which is convenient. When you lower your wrist, the watch screen instantly turns off, saving battery. You cannot turn off the screen by covering it with your hand. You can only forcibly turn it off by pressing the button. Swiping down provides quick access to essential functions, including brightness adjustment, power saving mode, do not disturb mode, flashlight, smartphone locator, and settings. There's also a Bluetooth calling setting. When this feature is enabled, you can receive and make calls from the watch. You can dial from a list of added contacts, recent calls, or manually by entering a phone number. When you receive an incoming call, the contact's name is displayed, and you can choose to accept or reject the call. During a call, you can adjust the speaker's volume. The watch's microphone is of good quality, and your conversation partner can hear you clearly. During my testing, I often used the watch for calls while riding a scooter or a bicycle, and even with my arm extended, I was still audible, provided there was no significant noise from traffic. In noisy environments, you may need to bring the watch closer for clear communication. I can't imagine having a watch without calling functionality now, it's genuinely convenient. Furthermore, this watch can be used as a media device by enabling this function. After activation, you can listen to any audio content from your smartphone, using the watch as a mini speaker. The speaker in the watch is decent but lacks volume. The Z-Blaze Aries 3 Pro had better sound. The speaker is quite loud, and it doesn't distort at maximum volume. The sound quality is approximately like a smartphone without stereo sound. It's convenient, for example, to play videos or music on YouTube and listen while moving around your apartment. Through the built-in player, you can switch tracks and adjust the volume. The player's buttons are large and user-friendly. However, the track's name is not displayed, and there are no volume controls on the watch, which is a drawback. When you receive a message, the screen activates and displays a short form of the message, which you can open and read in full. Swiping up allows you to view incoming notifications. Messages are differentiated by icons, whether they are SMS or messages from messaging apps, and unread messages are indicated with a red dot. The text is legible, displaying both Cyrillic and Latin alphabets. However, emojis in messages are not displayed. There are no quick replies to messages, and you cannot compose messages from the watch. For calls from messaging apps, you receive a call notification, but you cannot answer the call from messaging apps. The watch's vibration is of medium quality. You can choose between strong and soft vibration intensities. You can also select the mode of vibration, with or without sound. Swiping to the left provides quick access to the menu, including the player, weather, for one day only, sleep tracking, showing how long you slept in sleep phases, heart rate and a daily heart rate graph, daily activity, calories burned, steps, and distance, step count throughout the day, and a weekly step statistics graph. You can customize the order of widgets to your preference, which is convenient. Swiping to the right provides access to the main menu. There are four menu display styles, a standard list, a wheel, an Apple Watch style, and a grid mode. You can switch between style modes with a double button press. In the Apple Watch style, I found an issue where some functions are not displayed, and some are duplicated. The calculator, calendar, and photo mode are missing in the Apple Watch style, but they appear in other styles. Perhaps future watch updates will address this. The menu works smoothly, everything operates quickly, and the watch is user-friendly. It features a powerful processor, and the menu translation is well done.
The watch's menu includes dialing numbers, contacts, recent calls, a voice assistant, a full-fledged Google assistant that is easy to use, daily activity, and workouts. The watch comes with 10 standard workouts, but you can replace them through the app with a wider selection of approximately 100 different workouts. As for the GPS, the watch does not have built-in GPS, and when you activate a workout, the smartphone's GPS will not turn on either. Additionally, there is no music player in workout mode. To activate a workout with GPS from your smartphone, you can initiate it through the app on your smartphone. Here is how. There are three workout modes. When you start a workout, you can still use the watch for other purposes, such as listening to music or reading messages, for example. To end a workout, you will need to do so through your smartphone. After completing a workout, you can review the route, workout details, and pace. If needed, there's an option to synchronize data with Google Fit and Health Connect. Regarding step counting, the watch counts steps accurately and does not register steps when in transportation. There is no automatic workout detection. The watch even includes a swimming workout mode. However, I strongly advise against swimming or showering with it. While it's advertised as having an IP68 rating, it's doubtful it can withstand prolonged exposure to hot water, steam, or water pressure during swimming. I do not recommend taking the risk. The watch accurately measures heart rate and doesn't detect heart rate in the air or from objects. It includes a blood oxygen level measurement function. I am generally skeptical of blood oxygen readings on any fitness watch, as it is not a medical device. In the menu, there is also a sleep tracking feature, which works well. The watch is comfortable to sleep with, as it doesn't get caught in your hair or on your pillow. However, it doesn't detect daytime naps. There is a feature for measuring blood pressure, but it's not reliable. The watch also includes the following menu options, messages, weather, but only for today. Women's calendar, showing the percentage of possible pregnancy, a more detailed calendar is available in the app. Breathing exercises, stopwatch, timer, neither of these can be minimized. Alarm, which can only be set up through the smartphone, while the watch can only enable or disable it. Business card, where you can add your QR code and use it. Find smartphone. Calculator, which is quite convenient to use. A full-fledged calendar. Take a photo, but only through the built-in app. The app is simple and user-friendly, with all the necessary parameters readily available. It provides information on steps and distance by days, weeks, and months, women's calendar details, sleep tracking, current and weekly pulse readings, daily and average blood pressure, and blood oxygen levels, which can be initiated from the smartphone. The app also offers reminders for inactivity and staying hydrated, and you can add up to 10 contacts for making calls from the watch. You can set up notifications from any app, without limitations. The watch has three standard watch faces, one with hands, Fast access to watch functions is available on these watch faces, one for women, and a fourth custom watch face that you can install through the app. There are around 300 watch faces available in the app. You can find a wide selection of both men's and women's watch faces. Many of the women's watch faces feature hearts and flowers, and some even have animations. Here are some examples of women's watch faces that my wife liked and found beautiful on this colorful HD AMOLED screen. The colors are vibrant, and there are no visible pixels. The screen is a strong point of this watch. There are also men's watch faces available. I personally liked ones like these. You can also set a custom watch face with your own picture or photo, and they will look just like they do on your smartphone. In summary, this watch is a top choice for its price. Silver and gold color options are more suitable for women, though it depends on the choice of straps. In one word, the watch is unisex, I bought them for only $30, and for this small amount of money, we get a slim, beautiful watch with a stylish design, high-quality straps, a clear and colorful HD AMOLED screen, Gorilla Glass protection against scratches, a metal case for impact resistance, a wide range of watch faces, the ability to make calls and use Google Assistant.
Additionally, the watch can be used as a mini speaker for music, a calculator, and a full-fledged calendar. The downsides include a limited always-on display, inability to minimize the timer and stopwatch, weather information for today only, no track display in the player, and no volume sliders. The battery life is relatively short at 7 days, and there's a bug in the menu when using the Apple Watch style display. My wife liked the Z-Blaze GTR 3 Pro, especially the vibrant screen and beautiful watch faces, as well as the convenient Bluetooth calling feature. Personally, I prefer the Z-Blaze Ares 3 Pro, even though they are not as slim as these, because they offer similar functionality. Watch my other videos for more information. See you soon, friends, goodbye.